nothing more engaging than driving a car with a manual transmission. And we here at Ideal, well, we kind of have a thing for them. Hence the best-selling t-shirt, Saving the Manuals, which uh, you could snag up there. Because today, I want to teach you guys how to drive a manual transmission. So to start off, let's talk a little bit about what a manual transmission does. Now we won't go too technical here, but at the most basic, a transmission uses gears to increase the speed of the wheels without needing to dramatically increase the speed of the engine. That way you can stay in the most efficient power band. So let's go snag a bicycle. Okay, so if you've ever ridden a bike, you know that the granny gear, the starter gear, this biggest one, you know that you can only go so fast in this gear no matter how fast you pedal. You have to shift to a new gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and it will make it harder to push the pedals, but you'll also go faster. Then if you're in fourth gear and you hit a hill, you may have to shift down to third or maybe even second. Well, cars work the same way. In first gear, which in this car is up to the left, the drivetrain is easy to turn, but you can't go very quickly. In fifth gear, which is all the way over to the right and up, you can go much faster, but it takes a lot of energy to turn the wheels in this car. What gives people the biggest headache is this guy down here, the clutch. And the clutch is the part that disconnects the motor from the transmission. Again, this is really simplified, but think of a clutch like a spring. You push down on the clutch pedal, a throw out bearing pushes on some springy bits, and the clutch disc pulls away from the engine. Now, one side is spinning and the other is stationary. Then when you release the clutch, which means pulling your clutch foot towards you like this, the spinning side gradually connects with the non-spinning side. And depending on how fast or slow you let the clutch out and the clutch disc re-engages with the gear you're in, and that is what gets you moving. Now, this is definitely a feel thing and you will learn to play the clutch as you get more used to it. But if you're really like me, the theory doesn't really matter. You will understand way more when you actually get behind the wheel and start going for it. So step one is to go find yourself a friend that can drive you out to a nice flat space. Big parking lots are great, so are just straight roads that don't have a lot of traffic. All right, so let's hop into girth and get situated in the driver's seat. Okay, so first adjust your seat to the proper position since somebody else drove it, and you wanna be able to disengage the clutch pedal all the way. So you wanna be able to push it all the way to the floor. So is that and now push the, the clutch pedal all the way to the floor with your left foot. Okay, so you're in the right driving position. Now, the second thing that goes with the clutch pedal is the shift knob, which is where your right hand's gonna be. Okay. So when you move the shift knob, you're gonna wanna push in the clutch pedal first. So brake, clutch, pe clutch pedal in, brake, brake. Now you're gonna wanna put the shift knob into neutral. So pull down and it's in the middle of the H. So it should wobble around. So if you can just kind of wobble it, perfect. That's how you know it's in neutral. Now you can let the clutch out. And the brake? No. Just the clutch. Yeah. So now that the car's in neutral, you have to pull the e-brake. Otherwise, if you're on a hill like we are, you're going to let the car roll backwards. So pull the e-brake up. Now you should be able to let go of the brake and will not slide back. Now, one thing you'll notice is that when the shift knob is in neutral, it will move around. But then if you put in the clutch with your left foot and then move it over to the left and up, it's in first gear. Now let out the clutch. Now try to move the shift knob around. You really can't, can you? Mm -hmm. That's because it's now in gear. So what we're gonna do for the next couple of minutes is row the gears. And what that means is that you're gonna go from first down to second gear, up to third, down to fourth, up to fifth. Now, one secret is to shift from first to second or any gear, especially when you're beginning, you don't wanna do it too fast. So when you go down to second, say your name. So YouTube girlfriend. YouTube goes into neutral, girlfriend goes into second. YouTube. Girlfriend. <laughs> Good. Now I'll do the same thing for third. YouTube. YouTube girlfriend. Now go into fourth. Bradley Danger. Okay, cool. And go into fifth. Ideal cars. And go into sixth. Let's go. See, that was too fast. You so let's fast. go. Mm. So you want to do that because you don't want to shift too hard to start out. Now, most of you guys will have what's known as a standard H pattern, which means you'll start in first gear up here, and then you'll go down to second then you'll be going through neutral, which is this center area. And as you can see, there's H's, which hence the reason it's called an H pattern. So now I want you to practice rowing through the gears, but finding neutral every once in a while. So let's go into first. 
Now let's go down into second. Now let's go into neutral. And that's when you can let the clutch out, okay? Mm -hmm. And the reason is because now the engine is disengaged because it is not in a gear. And to double check that you're in neutral, wiggle the shifter back and forth and you'll know that you're not in gear. So now if you're pretty comfortable with that pattern, it's time to introduce the clutch, aka the hard part. The really hard part. <laughs> so first thing first, you're used to driving an automatic and so you're used to driving with two feet and that has to stop. You have to get used to driving with your right foot for both the gas and the brake. Admit it, you used to brake with your left foot, right? Only when I'm off-roading in Tina. You now have to have your left foot for the clutch. So what I want you to do is push in the clutch a couple of times and let it go out all the way just to get a good feel of what that feels like. And there's two things to keep in mind. First is that you will always be pushing the clutch in all of the way to the floor. Now for intermediate, you won't be pushing it down all the way because you may wanna slip the clutch, but for right now, push it down to the floor every single time you change the gear. The second thing is you shouldn't keep your foot on the clutch all the time. When the clutch is fully out, see that metal panel to the left of the clutch? That's your foot rest. You'll want to rest your foot there. It's also called the dead pedal. Yeah, and yeah, it kind of sounds morbid, but that just means that it doesn't move and it really is the perfect place to rest your foot. So now practice going from dead pedal to clutch in, clutch out, back to dead pedal. Perfect. Okay, I think we're ready for the next step, putting it all together. Like with it running? Yeah. Whew. All right, so now it's time to put it all together. So you ready? Stand on one foot, pat your head and rub your tummy, right? I can't do that. You know I can't do that. <laughs> well, it's kind of like that, but uh, the order is check if you're in neutral. Perfect. Okay. Now you push in the clutch. Now move the shift knob into first gear and release. Now release the clutch slowly while pressing down on the gas at the same time. Perfect. So you wanna do that dry a few times. Neutral, clutch, first gear, gas. Get used to those motions without the pressure of actually having to move one of the hardest cars to drive. So you feel pretty confident? Okay, now we're gonna shift from first to second gear doing the same thing. So clutch in, okay. go into first. Okay, clutch out, a little gas. Perfect, okay, now we're going to second gear which you're gonna put the clutch in. You're gonna shift into second. Give it a little gas and let out the clutch at the same time. Perfect, now we're going. All right, so now we're coming up to a stop. There's a deer. Oh no, we're freaking out. I don't wanna hit a deer. Hit the, push in the clutch, push in the brake, and now put it in neutral. Perfect, and now you can let out the clutch. Let's because go check on Bambi. Let's go check on Bambi. So it's always that way. When Bambi or you're just trying to stop, it's always clutches all the way in with the left foot and then you apply the brake. And so anytime you're coming up to a stop sign, you go clutch, brake. Later on, we're gonna get to the point where you'll be doing both at the same time, but no matter what, the clutch must always be all the way down before you come to a stop. Because if you don't, well then you're going to lug the engine and it's ultimately gonna die on you. So Ooh, yeah, you don't wanna do that. dreaded chug, chug, chug. Yeah, rookie mistake right there. So are you ready to start girth? Let's do it, it's now or never. All right, perfect. Okay, so grab the keys, put them in the ignition, don't turn it yet, double check you're in neutral. Perfect, you're gonna push in the clutch, put your foot on the brake and turn the key. Don't make me. <laughs> Perfect. Woo. Okay, so now you're sin now since you are in neutral, you can take your foot off the clutch. This is very important. When you're in neutral, you can always take your foot off the clutch, which if you keep your foot on the clutch way too often, then it's going to start cramping, which is no no go no good. Okay, you ready? It's time to do the hardest part of the entire manual driving experience. But uh don't worry. I learned and that means you can too and uh so we're going to start moving. Whew, okay. Okay, so you're gonna wanna push the clutch in, move the gear selector into first gear, and then you're gonna slowly let the clutch out without any gas whatsoever. And the reason you're gonna do this is you're gonna find the grab point. You're gonna be feeling, looking, and listening, okay? All right. Just gonna let the clutch out? Just very slowly. Feel how we're starting to move forward? Uh -huh. Okay, push it back in. Perfect, hit the brake. Okay, do that one more time. Let it out. 
Perfect. You can feel it grab. Okay. Awesome. Clutch in. Brake. Perfect. Yeah. And when the engine grabs, the RPMs are going to fall a little bit. So you'll hear the engine slow down and you'll see the RPMs drop on the tack and you're gonna to start to feel the car move forward like you did. And so that's really step number one, where you just wanna find that point. Plus, by doing it slowly and playing the clutch a little bit, the engine won't die. Now, if you do it too fast, and I want you to just drop the clutch really fast. Just let it out? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. No, that's not good. You killed the engine, and that's because you let the clutch out too fast. You didn't play the you didn't play the clutch at all. So that's why we wanna do it slow and methodically. So now to start it back up, you're gonna push in the clutch, put it into neutral, make sure it's in neutral, perfect. All right, foot on the brake and fire it up. Awesome, so since you're in neutral, you can take your foot off the clutch. Great, okay, but when you killed the car, you actually wanna do that a couple of times when you're just starting out because you start to realize how quickly you drop the clutch and then obviously it doesn't work. So it's not great for the car, unfortunately, but everyone who drives has gone through this, even Ken Block and Lewis Hamilton. Now, while you're doing this a couple of more times, you wanna pay attention to the tachometer, which is the RPMs. And you wanna take a look at where the engine idles at, at what RPM, and then you'll watch it dip down as you play the clutch and it starts to engage. So let's do that now, clutch in. First gear, no gas, just a little clutch and you'll see the RPMs drop. Okay, do it again. Okay, perfect. So you see that the idle speed is roughly 800 or so RPM. And then once you start going, it dips down into the four or 500 range. If it goes down to zero, obviously you killed the motor. Okay, so now it's going to kind of depend on you and how your brain works. Some people like myself, everything's by feel. I don't really look at the tachometer and usually when you're just driving, you won't either. However, some people really like driving by the numbers when they're starting out. So I'm gonna to try to explain this a couple of different ways. So with all that out of the way, let's get moving. And again, you're probably gonna kill the motor, but that's okay, it happens. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, especially when you're starting out. It's actually something that unites all car enthusiasts. The first, you have step one down. You found the grab point, right? Mm -hmm. The second one is building RPMs while you get to the grab point. And what that means is as you're smoothly letting the clutch out, you're also pressing down on the gas pedal very easily. So when one comes out, the other one is going in at about the same speed. Now the RPMs are gonna be climbing because you're pressing the pedal, the gas pedal that is, and you're gonna have to rely entirely on fuel to find that grab point. So once this car starts to move, continue letting the clutch out, and as soon as you get moving, just a little bit, add a little bit of gas. Okay. Now, once you start moving, push the clutch in, and then press the brake. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's do it. Clutch in? Yep. First gear? Yep. Brake off? Yep. Clutch out. I'm starting to move. A little gas. Clutch is still in. Do I take it out? Pull it all the way out. Put it on dead pedal. Put my foot on dead pedal. Now okay. clutch. Now clutch. Now brake. Woo! Perfect. All right. You know. You know where neutral is. Yeah. Nice Did job. Did we make it to the grocery store? <laughs> <laughs> so some of you guys like numbers, make notes of how many RPMs you're turning when you begin to move. I mean, really you just have to experiment. To get used to the throttle, what I'd like you to do is pull the e-brake, okay? And now just give it a couple blips on just the gas. So you start to feel it, just like the grab point, you now get used to the throttle response as well, because every car is gonna be different. Okay, so now you're ready for the final step. You ready? What's that? Here's what you're gonna do. We're actually gonna start driving around in first gear. So, clutch in, brake off, first gear, clutch out and gas a little bit at the same time.
perfect. All right, so now you're driving in first gear, you're at a constant speed, perfect. Make sure you got both hands on the wheel, which you do. And because we have quite a bit of space, start doing a couple of turns. So just kind of go left, go right. Perfect, and once we get to the top of this hill, you're gonna press in the clutch and then brake to a stop. Right here? Yeah, so tell me what you're doing. I'm gonna push in the clutch. Yep. And then the brake, and I'm gonna come to a stop. Okay. And I'm gonna put it in neutral. Perfect, great and job. let out the clutch. Now, yes, because practice stopping. You wanna practice stopping a lot. It really is kind of the second hardest part of driving a manual. And since you got the hardest part down, you totally got this as well, babe. Huh. Yeah, got it. And remember that the RPMs the car was turning back at step one when we were exploring the grab point. Try to make sure the RPMs never fall below that point. And that's because, so like if you're in second gear, you could have it down to like 200 RPMs, but the engine's gonna lug. So you don't wanna do that. You yeah. wanna press the, you wanna put the clutch out first so that it can just idle. So now what we're gonna try to do is you're gonna do the same thing, get into first gear, going, and then you're going to brake first and then press the clutch in at around 1,000 RPM okay. so, that, and, so that then you can come to a stop. Push in the clutch, put it in first. Yep. Let off the brake, let off the clutch. Full gas, good. Ooh, we chugged a little last time. All right, perfect. So now you're going, you're going, you're at 2,000 RPM. Yep. Okay, so now you're gonna hit the brake a little bit. Okay. And now hit the clutch. Ooh. See how you let it go down too much? Yeah, we caught it just in time. Yeah, so you wanna brake until like 1,000 RPM, and then once it, then it will go back to idle. So let's try that one more time. Clutch, gas. Wow, great start. Okay, go up to like 2,500. Okay, hit the brake, down to a thou, clutch in. Perfect, awesome job, yes. <laughs> okay, and I gotta congratulate you because since you've made it this far and we've actually gone quite a far ways from where we were. Like uh, two blocks. <laughs> well, that is awesome, you're driving a manual transmission. Now, let's get to the really fun part. Trust me, you're only seconds away from understanding why save the manuals is such an awesome thing. And it's time to shift while moving. So remember I said earlier that when you get to 20 miles per hour, we're gonna shift in a second? Mm -hmm. Well, now's your time to shine. So we're gonna do everything we just did, but then when you hit 20 miles per hour, you're going to go from first to second. And the way we're gonna do that is you're gonna be in first gear, you're gonna press in the clutch, uh -huh. pull down to second by saying YouTube girlfriend, uh -huh and then you're going to slowly let out the clutch and then it, and, and at the same time push in the gas pedal slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna push the clutch in. I'm gonna put it in first. Okay. Let off the clutch. Start to push the gas. Slowly letting out the clutch. Yep. All right, I'm in. Dead pedal. I'm in first, my foot's on the dead pedal. Get to 20. Now you're at 20. Okay, I'm gonna push the clutch in. YouTube girlfriend! Let the clutch out. Wow. Yeah. Now there's a stop sign, so keep the, yeah, now hit I'm the brake, second. brake, brake. brake. First. Oh. Yeah, until about a thousand and then press in the clutch. All right. Awesome okay. job. Now okay. you're gonna go into neutral. Neutral. Yes. Okay. okay, so you could let the clutch out if you wanted to. Well, okay. Awesome. Yep. And there you go. So you pretty much do the same thing for every single gear. So once we get up to three, or 30, that's when you go into third, third gear. gear. Is that for another day or is that for today? No, that's for today. All right. Okay, so let's do that again. Let's go from first to second and then maybe even third, okay? So I wish there was a magic number that you could shift at. Like I said, a lot of cars, especially with a six-speed manual, you're gonna be able to shift when it's 20, you're gonna shift into second. When it's 30, you're gonna shift into third. But they're really, it really depends on the amount of torque that your car has. So if you have like a four speed, you might be shifting into second gear at like 30 miles per hour. So. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the clutch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it in first. Okay. I'm gonna start to let out the clutch. And I'm gonna push the gas. Perfect. I'm just now, now dead foot. 
I gotta get up to 20. Push in the clutch. YouTube, girlfriend. Let out the clutch. Give it some gas. Nice. Give it gas. Okay, let's go up to 30. Then we're gonna go into third. Right. Perfect. Push in the clutch. YouTube, girlfriend. Let out the clutch. Give it some gas. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. All right, so now if you need to brake, you're gonna brake before pressing in the clutch at like 12 to 1500 RPM, okay? So brake. Okay. Brake. Okay. A, like a lot. Okay. I'm not okay, like now 50. press in the clutch. Okay. And let's come to a stop. Oh. You can just stop with that. You don't have to. What? You don't have to downshift. You can just stop with Yeah. Here. Yeah, because we don't know how to downshift. We haven't taught that yet. Okay, so since we're stopped, there's really two things that can go wrong when shifting while you're in motion. You can shift in too low of a gear. So let's say that you were trying to shift from third to fourth and you accidentally shift from third to second. That's no good for your engine. Also, you can shift into too high of a gear. So let's say that you're going from third to fourth and somehow you go from third to sixth. The engine is gonna bog. So if you shift into too low of a gear, then your engine's gonna rev to the moon. They call that a money shift. You don't wanna do that. And then if you shift into too high of a gear, well then the engine's gonna bog. You're gonna have no torque and it's gonna chug a lug lug along. So really driving a stick shift is being the automatic transmission and knowing what gear is needed for each speed. So now that you have the one to two thing down, I mean, you're, you're pretty much there. We went into third gear and so now I wanna practice a couple of more second to third gear uh, changes. And then, um, and just remember if things start to head kind of to the land of discomfort, clutch in and just come to a stop. Always clutch in and come to a stop. And so there's really three ways to come to a stop. The first is that you need to slow down by going through every gear. And this is called downshifting. So you're gonna go from like fifth to fourth to third to second and so on and so forth. And this will slow you down. And it's a good idea if you don't have to stop super quickly. So we're gonna go into third gear and then I'm gonna have you downshift into second gear and that's gonna engine brake the car and let us slow down slowly. So let's get into third. All right, so you're in third gear and now let's downshift into second. So you're gonna put the clutch in, put it into second gear and slowly let the clutch out, slowly. Oh wow, we're slowing down a lot. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. So wow. you don't wanna let the clutch out super quickly. You wanna let it out slowly and gradually and then you come to a stop. Wow, that was cool. Yeah. So they call that engine braking. Yeah. So that is cool, but if you need to come to a stop super fast, you're just gonna wanna hit the brake and push in the clutch, so let's do that. Okay, we're in third going to roughly 25 miles per hour and you need to do a quick stop, clutch in and brakes. Clutch in and brakes. Nice. All the way. Perfect. Great job. So, you wanna go to a parking lot and practice this a little bit more? Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, let's roll over. So here we are at actually, it's Hydroflask's headquarters and we're gonna practice driving girth around a little bit more, but she's got the basics down, which is really, really cool. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think it's time to save the manuals. This is, you know, it's been fun. Thanks for teaching me. Yeah. Thanks for being patient. And uh, you know, girth's been a good sport too. Nice and revving high. <laughs> yeah. And that's the big thing too, you guys, is that this is not easy to drive. And so the fact that she was able to get it right off the bat, I think it really just comes down to really good teaching. I mean, you can't, you can't teach that. Wait, you can teach this. So it really isn't that difficult. You just have to get out and practice a ton, which is what she's going to do right now in this beautiful parking lot. And it really is something that every enthusiast should understand how to do, but really anybody should know how to do for that matter. And where are you going? I'm gonna practice. Heck yeah. 